Did you know that getting and staying fit is the number one resolution people have at the beginning of the year, but it tends to be the first one people quit along the way? Today I will be sharing with you some tips that will help you get and stay fit. has a different definition for fitness. For some, it could be losing a couple of pounds and for others to gain a couple of pounds. And for others, it could be to eat healthier or exercise more. Whatever your goal is, the following steps will help you get in the right mindset and keep it up. Start by accepting who you are, how you look, and start loving yourself. Make peace with yourself and the way you look. The process with getting fit starts within us. Self-love motivates us to a change. Once you have accepted yourself the way you are, you will realize that there is a bigger reason why you want to get fit. It is not because you want to keep up with what society is telling you, but because you want to do that for yourself and nobody else. This step will help you get the right foundation to your fitness journey. Have the right mindset. Once you have made that decision to get fit, stick with it. Surround yourself with images that will represent your ideal body, the food or new habits you want to incorporate to your new fitness routine. Have these images in a place where you were planning to either exercise, eat, or where you know you will be more tentative to give up, whether that is the snack drawer, the fridge, or in front of the TV. These images will help you remind you of the commitment you have made to yourself and will help you maintain the right mindset. Watch the video on how to stay motivated where I share with you a few steps that will help you keep going and not give up. Always remember that you have the choice to choose the correct path with your thoughts and actions. Don't expect to do the wrong thing and get the right result. So testing yourself ahead of time to win and prepare your mindset. Set up small goals for yourself so you're not tempted to give up. Don't try to start drinking eight glasses of water a day, eating vegetables and fruit in each meal, and try to run a marathon by the end of the month. If you're only used to drinking soda, eating burgers, and being a couch potato all the time, you will be setting yourself up for failure. Instead, write realistic goals for yourself and break them down into the small, doable, and realistic steps you can take in a daily basis. Do it in small increments. What I mean by this is let's say that one of your goals is to drink more water and less soda, or that you want to start taking 10,000 steps every day to keep your heart rate going. Then start by replacing the soda little by little and incrementing the amount of water you drink. And instead of taking the full 10,000 steps at a time, just start with 2,000 and start adding to the count every day or week. Whatever works best for you, do that. Just do it little by little. The point is that you don't get tired of the change and end up giving up. If you start trying or training your brain with these new challenges and new changes in a small doses, your brain will start accepting and adapting to the change. And if you keep it up for 21 days, it will become a new habit. Invite a family member or a friend to join you on the journey. Having someone who is taking the same challenge with you and who can hold you accountable and keep you motivated will set you up for success. I have written a quick read, which is an easy to put in practice ebook that gives you some ideas on fast exercises you can do anywhere that will help you stay fit in case you're interested to check it out. I will leave the link in the description below. If you want to learn more about healthy tips, I invite you to check the health playlist. I will leave the link as well in the description below. If you learned something new, please share and like this video so together we can reach more women who can benefit with this. Make sure to subscribe and sign up to my VIP list where I share some insights and additional tips, tricks and gifts that I prepared especially for you. Stay motivated and keep pressing forward to live the life of your dreams and become the happiest woman you know. I'll see you next week on Diana Bryan TV. I dare you to dream big.